Cheers, everybody. This is Eric. I'm back. Dry hopping. Yeah. Why do we do it? We know why. I did a batch yesterday, a double batch, and I'm going to dry hop it here in just a bit, and I wanted to show why I dry hop at high carousing. It makes a big difference. It really does. So that's just my thoughts and my impressions and why I dry hop and when. That's coming up next. Stay tuned. All right. So what I do is ahead of time, I go ahead and take my hops, whatever I'm going to do, uh, however much, little, small, big, whatever, I always put them in a little bag, freeze them overnight if you do it the day before, or do it right then and then, and then uh, go ahead and pour them in. But the easy part about using a little disposable bag is clip the corner, dump them in, no spillage, easy peasy, walk away, put your cat back on. So. I got uh, six ounces here and six ounces here. This is a uh, two Citra, two Mosaic, and two Cascade ounces each. And uh, this is a NEPA that I'm doing. It. I have to do this NEPA pretty regular and uh, do double batches of it because it goes really fast when I have friends and family. People always say, hey, can you bring some beer by if we have a party or get together? I haven't had parties or get togethers, but this guy's been drinking it all on this uh, COVID stuff. So yeah, I've been drinking all my beer. So I got to catch up. I did a batch yesterday and fermentation started last night. And here we go. I'm going to show that to you. My set value is 67 and it should be kicking on. I got a two differential, two degree differential. So uh, got them both rocking and rolling. And I call this EJ. It came in at 1.049. I always do a, um, I try to keep around 5%. Uh, these NEPAs, not supposed to be high in alcohol, I don't think, but uh, that's debatable. I like it lower. And this is a lawnmower beer to me. You know, it's very drinkable. And you drink one, one drink leads to two, two leads to four. So that's what tends to happen. That's why we do, that's why I do 12 gallons. So, again, this is, uh, I think I've talked about this before. I always, always try to go for six gallons in each batch because you're going to lose volume to troop and um, at, the, at the bottom of your fermenter every time. So, so if you do an actual five and then you're going to lose half a gallon to a gallon from troop on the bottom of your fermenter, Man, you, you got four gallons of beer? Uh, uh I want five every time. So, that's always, I always do batches for six. And, um, missed the mark a little bit. I know it's kind of embarrassing, but that's all right. So, <clears throat> anyway, so I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna sanitize with my spray bottle, my star sand. I'm gonna take my top, my capper off, my airlock off. Have a corner, cut the corner, pour it right in, and uh, I'm gonna show you that. Here we go. So I'm gonna put my hops in here, and them hops are gonna roll around along with that beer being made with the yeast. It's gonna be swimming fun, good action, and I feel like you impart more hop flavor and aroma. So I, I think the utilization of your hops works better here, and I've tried it both ways, and I think you get more flavor and aroma doing it at uh, high Krausen. So now I have uh, done it at this point and then added hops later, like a week later or four days or a few days later, just to add some more. And that, again, that it's going to be settled down then, but I think you add, do add more each time. But this way, I think you get the most bang for your buck on hop utilization. So, so I'm going to get my little baggies, clip the corners, sanitize, spray and go. And, uh, Okay, star sand scissors, sanitize them. Sanitize, sanitize. I dry hopped that one already. Added my hop, so cut it off as small as I dare and I'll work it in there. Give it just a few minutes and 
activity has picked up tremendously, which is great. So now, them hops are rolling around in there, having a good old time swimming with the yeast, and yeah, it's going to be awesome. It smells great in here already. We'll have to add some more sanitizer in a couple of hours. But yeah, that's uh, my dry hopping procedure. And thanks for watching. This is Eric. And as always, cheers. And we'll see you next time.